חבריי, פרשת יתרו, דברי הינוקה, מורנו ורבנו. Um, we all know פרשת יתרו is מתן תורה, when we accepted the Torah as a people. Let's see what he says this week. ואתה, אם שמוע תשמוע בקולי, if you listen to my voice. המהות של קבלת תורה הוא להיות... The mahut, the essence of Kabbalat HaTorah, accepting the Torah, is to listen to the voice of Hashem. Rabbi, we can't listen to the voice of God by following the Torah. When you follow the Torah, you listen to the voice of Hashem. You son, pay attention. HaTorah hi kviyachol Diburo shel HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Torah is like the voice of Hashem. Ubesha'a sheyitza kol anochi Hashem, kol haolam haya, be'ema v'yera. When the world heard, when the Jews in the world heard Hashem say, Anochi Hashem, I am your God, the God that took you out of me, trying, everyone was shaking and everyone accepted the awe of Hashem. Whenever you learn Torah, you have to be the same way. בדממה וביטול מוחלט. You have to have pure nullification of your desires when you listen, when you learn Torah. You can't say, oh, the Torah says like this, but I feel, no, 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 what you feel, throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Because we don't do Torah according to our feelings. We're not Christian or Muslim. We do fact. Fact is Torah, Moshe Messinai, whatever Hashem says. All these mefarshim you see on the Torah is not based on their own desires. It's based on facts that they got from their Rebbeim, from their Rebbeim, how they understood the Torah. Like this we can accept the Torah in every generation. Because the Torah of Hashem is a great voice. The voice of Hashem is a big voice that never ends. ועוד, היום הוא ממשיך וממשיך. And also today, Hashem still says, אנוכי Hashem, אנוכי החיים, you're God. רק שצריך להשיג תורה מתוך ביטול ומתוך יראת שמיים. The only way to accept the Torah properly is to accept it with pure self-nullification. That means you nullify your own desires for what the Torah says and to have pure honors of Hashem. Bet. Kol achayut v'akiyum, kol chokhmah v'atfuna klolim, bekol shel Hashem yitbarach, shinitla basara advarim. We have to understand all of our Torah that we have is based, is based on the Ten Commandments. Not necessarily the Ten Commandments, but necessarily how Hashem revealed Himself to this world. וכאשר אדם משתוקק לשמוע אך ורק את כל השם, זה סמי, אבל פרסון has to only desire to listen to the voice of השם וכולו אוזן כשבח לרצונו יתברך המתגלה בתורתו and his ears are fully connected to the will of Hashem, Nishmato Mikabelet Et Kol Hashem. And then you will be able to hear the voice of Hashem. What does that mean? By you following it, you'll get a Grover Mook, that honest of Hashem, and you will Kiviachol hear it. And if you get to a certain matter of that, you'll actually hear it mamash. Hagilui Shel Chokhmat Va Torah Hu Bekol Dimama Daka. כאשר אדם מזכתך את עצמו לקבל את התורה, the same way a person purifies himself and gets himself ready to keep the Torah, that's how much he will be able to see the honest in the Torah. You will not be able to have your Yacha mind or a desire to learn unless you prepare yourself for it. The way you prepare for it, that's the way you will Handle it. A person that never learns about tefillin and he has his bar mitzvah and he puts on tefillin for him, it's fun. The first day, the second, third, fourth day, he doesn't care about it. 
But if a person learns about it, studies about it, understands it, goes into the deeper meaning of what tefillin is, forget about it. Him putting on tefillin is like a different world. Why? Mm-hmm. Because he prepared his body for it. He prepared his mind for it. And I'm going to finish with this and say that a person has to understand something, a vital, vital thing. When you learn Torah and you do mitzvot, your mitzvah is not considered 100% until you learn about it. Why? Because until you don't learn about it, you don't really feel a connection to it. And only once you learn about it, you feel a connection. Rabbi, how come I don't feel a connection of Torah or God? Because you don't care to know God, you don't care to learn. If you're not going to learn about it, how are you going to know? It's like getting married. You want a date? You want to know her? Do you want to build on the marriage? Why? Because you worked on it. And if you work on it, you'll grow. Same thing to Ramazot. Kashrut, Sniyut, Tfilin, Mezuzah, Tzitzit, Kipa, Basic Halachot, Tfila. What other, what other mitzvot do we really have to do? Mitzvot lo taaseh, restricting yourself. Not wasting seed, Rahman al has not doing things that are inappropriate, and going to different things. When you learn, for example, a barber, right? If you're a barber, and you learn about how dangerous it is to give a Jew a not kosher haircut, you'll never be able to do it. Why? Because you learned about it. Why? Hey, Rabbi. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Are you willing to sell your daughter? No, no. So then how come you're willing to sell yourself? Are you not as valuable, if not more valuable? Let's see if customer says that. I don't care, I'm going to leave. Get off my chair. You'd rather lose a customer for life than lose your life. I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying you're obligated to. You will see more siyat the shmaya. You will see more success in your business if you do it properly. In the beginning, maybe not. But in the long run, you will. You have enough sins to make tshuva for. Don't add someone else's sins on your bucket list. It's not worth it. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I know you're going to say, oh, I'm going to lose so many customers, this and that. Okay. Okay. You still can afford to lose customers. One day, when you're not going to be able to afford it, to lose it, it's going to be much harder. Do it now when you're able to afford it. DJ Avram, you know I'm kosher DJ? You know why he's so successful? In the beginning, he wasn't successful. You know why now he's successful? He stood to his ground. I'm not a DJ if it's not kosher. Whoa! Everyone laughed at him. I have students that played... They do all this stuff, they're like, ah, ah, ah. That guy is booked, Baruch Hashem, all the time, almost every day. Why? Because he put his foundation straight. This is the kind of art. this is the kind of DJ I am. You like it, take me. You don't like it, go fly, guy. I'm not going to go to hell for your party. But what happens if a Jewish person doesn't even know what Judaism means, you know what I mean? Like he's Jewish, his mom is Jewish, but he's in. If a person doesn't know this is poison inside, and he drinks it, is he going to die? Yeah. But he doesn't know about it. He's still going to die? Uh, same thing. So instead of instead of saying he doesn't know what Judaism is about, maybe cut his hair and say, you know, you're so you know you're unbelievable. You know who you are. You know who you are. You're my cousin. You're my cousin. You know one of our respects we have, one of our beauties, is not to touch our palate. Why? Because we're special. And he still wants that kind of haircut. You don't give him the cut. I'm not saying it's easy. It's well rewarding. I have students in cash advance. I told them, don't call me your Rebbe if you do business with Jews. I'm not your Rebbe. For a Goy, it's a mitzvah to give a Goy loan and he should pay you interest. It's an Avera if a Jew does it. But I'm just a broker. Yeah? You get percentage? You making another Jew? Say? then you're a problem. You're not allowed to do it. There are enough goyim in the world that need haircuts and that need money for you not to touch the dangerous stuff. A lot. Trust me. A lot. 
with the smallest population in the world, you're telling me majority of your customers are Jews? There's a, there's like maybe That's a lot 40%. of Jews in Manhattan. 40%? Lot of in Manhattan. I know. So you have to tell those 40%, I can't do it. It's like straight razors. Bro. Did I say that it's easy? No, you did not That's say it. That's it. said it's hard. But let's say, let's say about like straight razors. There's like four corners of the face and I'll touch. Face? For sure. You don't know where those corners are. Of course you don't. So then how can you even touch a blade to the face? No, no, we don't know exactly. Over here, for sure not. You see, that's how I know you're wrong. The mustache, for sure not. No. You can raise your mustache all day, all night. <laughs> you can look Muslim. <laughs> Bismillah rahman rahman <laughs> Allah Akbar, right? You can do that, right? Shave this thing over here. Go, you can do everything. Let's make it. Haram. Assalamu alaikum. You understand? <laughs> Shh. But it comes with, you're a shamayim. If you ever had shamayim, you have priorities. I mean, I do that when you build your priorities easier. now, when you get married, it'll be much easier for you. Why? Because you already start working on it now. That's the way you have to think of it. I mean, I mean.